In this video, we're going to create a C program to compute the product of the elements in an array. The first thing we'll do is declare and initialize an array of ints. We'll have int array is equal to 2, 5, 3, 4, 2. We'll create a function to compute the product of the elements in this array. The function will have an int return type, and we'll call the function itself element underscore product, and the function will have two parameters, the array itself and the length of the array. So we'll copy and paste this, and we'll create the definition of the function down here. And the way we're going to solve this problem is that we're going to loop through the array one element at a time, and we're going to perform one multiplication at a time to build the product of all the elements in the array. To help us build the product, we'll declare an int variable called product, and we're going to initialize it to one. And what we're going to do is loop through the array one element at a time and multiply that array element by product and store the result back into product. Now, because product is initialized to one, the first array element will be multiplied by one and we'll just get back the array element itself, which is exactly what we want. So next we'll create the loop. We'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. So using the counter variable i, we're going to go from zero up until the length of the array. We're gonna take each element and multiply it by the product and store the result back into product. Now we could shorten this here to times equals. This would be equivalent. Then when the loop is done, we'll have multiplied all the array elements and we can just return the product. So now we can test our function out. Up here, we'll call the function and we're going to store the return value into a variable called product. So we'll call element product with the array and the length of the array, which is five. Then we'll print out the result. We'll have printf product percent d backslash n and we'll output the product here. Now we have two times five is 10 times three is 30 times four is 120 times two is 240. So we expect the product to be 240. Let's save, compile and run a program and we'll see. And we do get a product of 240. So this is how we can find the product of the elements in an array using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.